How's it going today guys? Today we're going to be doing Halo 24 versus Halo 3, 4, and 6 radar. So let's get into the video guys and let's find out which radar is really the best. I just want to say thank you to DB Rinse Plus for sponsoring this video. And with that, they're giving you guys a code, code use code David at checkout and get $10 off any order, $150 or more using code David. And also guys, I just want to say this, I'm gonna leave all the radars linked down below in the description. I'm gonna leave the Halo 24 link down below, Halo 3, 4, and 6, the ones we're comparing as long along with the pedestal for the Halo arrays. And uh, with that being said, guys, let's get into the video. And one more thing, guys. I just want to ask you guys to like, press the like button on this video, smash it, and smash the subscribe button and the notification bell that we notice any future videos. So guys, let's get into the video. So guys, the best radar I think is going to be really a big shot, blown out shot. It's going to be not even close, I think. But let me tell you the facts, guys, and tell me what you think down below in the comments. So the Halo 4, 5, 6, and as well as the 3, Halo 3, 4, 5, and 6 are open array radars which is the spinning one that you see on top of the big yacht while the Halo 24 is a closed dome radar and it's gonna, you're going to be seeing it on smaller boats but mainly boats that sit lower to the water compared to the Halo 3, 4 and 6 which sit on higher boats because of the fact that they're spinning and the beam of the radar is like this so it needs to go out and due to the rotation of earth they need, a, they need to have a farther radius so they can see targets farther away compared to the closed dome radar which is closer to the earth and the tilt of the earth is not affecting that as much and the beam is like this and you're able to see targets farther away because you're closer to closer to the closer to the water the because the rotation of the earth is not affecting as much because you're not as high up so that's the biggest difference but the halo 24 has a 48 mile radius guys which is really really good compared to the halo 3 which i believe is 36 the 4 is about 48 i want to say or 60 i might be wrong on those i'll leave the actual number right here if I'm wrong and the Halo 6 which is 72 mile radius so this is a big thing uh, with a lot of radars because you want to use the radius to see like storms and like incoming inclement water weather farther away guys so that's when the radius comes into play also guys I want to say that the Halo 3 4 and 6 all of them take 16 to 25 seconds to load up and show up on your screen guys compared to Halo 24 which is just loads up instantly which is really nice because you don't have to worry about making sure it's working and it just loads up instantly and when you need it you can just turn it on and you can get results in a matter of instance so this is a really big difference guys because now with all this modern technology we want things to load up fast and the Halo 3 4 and 6 have been out for a few years a lot longer than the Halo 24 and the Halo 24 is Cyron's latest and greatest radar and that one has only been out for two years I believe 2019 I want to say so that radar has been out for a lot less and it has newer technology which is why it's a lot better at this thing and why it loads up instantly also guys the Halo 3 4 and 6 they spin at four, they can spin up to 48 rotations per minute which means it goes around a circle 48 times so compared to the Halo 24 which at under a three mile radius it spins 60 times in a minute which is once every second which gives you a clear picture of what's around your boat every single second compared to the other rudder which takes longer and because of this how it spins faster 60 times in one minute it helps that you have a better range within for close boats in close proximity so when you have like smoke trails and stuff like that and you have incoming and outgoing targets on your boat like a velocity track and stuff like that it, the halo radar is a lot better for that it's a lot better for close range stuff for like when you're going in and out of harbors it's a whole lot better also because the dead zone around your boat is not as much because your boat is not sitting up as high as much so that radar is really really good for anything close range it's a lot better than the halo 3 4 and 6 for close range and as well as it is like half the price or a third of the price compared to the 3 4 and 6 because the 6 3 and 4 the rays aren't that bad but where they get you is the pedestal mount to make it rotate and that is where it gets really expensive that i believe is like 3500 or 4500 dollars or something like that it's really really expensive which really makes it cost a lot more than the regular halo 24. so with this being said that also going back to the number of times it rotates 
after outside of that 30 mile three mile radius it goes to 48 miles which is the same as the halo 3 4 and 6 radars also guys the halo 24 radar has I think better uh, is better for seeing birds on your charts because of the fact that it spins 60 times in one minute which allows you to have a clearer picture on your boat which would definitely make sense to why I would probably see birds a lot better on my Halo 24 radar compared to the 3, 4, and 6 radar. So if you guys really want a radar for birds or you want a better radar for birds, make sure you're using the Halo 24 compared to the 3, 4, and 6 radar because it's spinning faster and I I think I said one time it was like two and a half, three miles where you see birds. So th that is going to be really helpful for seeing birds because of the fact that you're going to have it spinning a lot faster and it's a lot better for close range. So you're going to be getting a better idea of where those birds are at and you're going to be able to see them better. So if you guys are really going for birds, you definitely need to get the Halo 24. So guys, with that being said, I definitely want to say and close out the video by saying that yes, the Halo 24, by surprise, is a lot better than the Halo 3, 4, and 6. Because one, it spins faster at a close range, it's better for close range targets. Also, the Halo 3, 4, and 6 can only track 10 targets in at once or maybe it's 20. 10 to 20 targets, something like that. While the Halo 24 has unlimited targets you can track at once, which is really nice and really good because if you're in a busy harbor, a busy port, you're coming in a busy inlet, you need to be able to see all those boats, whether it's really strong, heavy rain, and you can't see more than 50 feet in front of the boat, or it's a really thick fog, that way you can get back home safely and on time. So the Halo 24 is definitely a better radar, once again, because it's cheaper. One, two, it doesn't take as long to start up. Three is better for close range, it doesn't have as much of a dead zone, and it's just better for bird mode, at least from what I know. So thanks for watching today's video guys, and I hope you enjoyed it, so make sure to subscribe, smash the like button on this video, and hit the subscribe bell, that way you don't miss any future videos. And also don't forget to use your $10 discount to DB Marine Supplies using code DAVID, $10 off any order, $150 more, which is really easy to do on boats guys. So thanks for watching today's video guys, and until next time.